G'day guys, welcome back to the show. Today we're on Rob's boat, Sunray, and we are chasing yellowfin tuna. So I've got a few new additions. Got the TLDs now on bent butts. I just thought it'd be better to get a couple bent butts for the short corner. And then if we do some busting, we can kind of keep them. They're kind of out of the way when they're bent. And we can still troll with them and then cast from here pretty easily. Today we'll also take the skirt completely out of the selection just because we haven't had a bite all year on a skirt and it is good to have a skirt in there but you know we just haven't been bit on a skirt so we've got a couple squidgies and one's already out there and then we'll have a couple divers and this thing that I've never used but it's good to get it out in the spread and it might be the only lure to get bit so yeah fingers crossed we get some fish we'll start trolling and try and find the birds or try and find some bait and hopefully we find the fish we just started trolling straight out and there's birds just everywhere like I haven't seen this many birds for a while and there's a lot of bait on the sounder too and it's kind of hard you don't you want to go you want to kind of troll some area but then you don't want to leave this many birds because usually when you find the birds you find the fish and they're obviously here for the same reason we are the fish and usually if they're hunting on the surface there's fish pushing the bait up to the surface and then they get the bait when it's on the surface so yeah there should be a few fish around here i reckon haven't seen many boats but there's definitely definitely a lot of birds you can see them all on the gopro but we'll try around this area for a little bit and see how we get the new vent butts on the tlds you just tag them 24 kilo setups and you can just see how they sit a lot nicer here and they're out of the way for these ones and, i mean if you have outriggers it doesn't really matter but for my boat especially i don't have outriggers so they just sit nice in there and out of the way and they also keep the divers down so you don't have to worry about rubber banding them back here because they're already sitting down Yeah, still got it. That's a good fish, I reckon. On the rigger, out the furthest. He took a bit of line, but he's not really pulling now, but he's still going, so hopefully it's more than a stripey. I don't know if it's a yellow fin. No. I don't think it's a yellow fin. Coming to throw his boat down? Yeah, once you get this one in. <laughs> just so it's just in gear. Oh, maybe. It's a big albie, I reckon, if it's, if it's an albie. Oh, yeah, I think it's He's actually got a bit of weight there. Albies and stripies don't usually pull still after they did their first run. Yellow can usually do. They keep pulling line the whole way. But we're slowing down now, so we'll find out what it is pretty soon, I reckon. This is on the Lumo Squidgy that I almost didn't want to put out. But Rob said, nah, put the Lumo Squidgy out. That was out the furthest. We had it up the top for a little while, but then we thought we'd just chuck it in that rod holder. Oh, decent, eh? No, I jinx myself, but it feels like there's a fair bit of weight there. I reckon we got a yellow, eh? That was a head shake there. <laughs> Usually you can tell if it's good fish because it's right at the boat, but it's staying 20 meters down. Usually stripies and albies and stuff, they'd be in the boat by now, but they won't usually stay down deep. So hopefully it's a... Yeah, I know, as I said. Hopefully it feels like a little yellow pin. I guess you don't really know yet. Oh. 
focus on the Tiagra 50 wide, the old faithful. <laughs> Hopefully. Nah, it's a good fish, eh? on because I'm hurting well what we thought was small doesn't feel tiny anymore get a bit of line back now just try and keep my line in that corner yeah. but on that angle just put the throttle down a little bit. Yeah, that's good. So the yellow fin's doing circles and it's hard to keep them away from the engine when they're doing circles, but every time it kind of gets close, you just got to put the throttle down. It's full lock left. Go again. See the squidgy comes up on the line when they eat it. It usually means the hook's engaged pretty well, so hopefully don't jinx it and it is engaged pretty well. Grab the gap. Yeah, grab the gap, grab the gap. Go. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, boy! Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Not a bad one, yeah, boys! Yeah, nice. Didn't donut. <laughs> Good shit. Oh, if I knew it was a little nugget like that, I would have put the harness on, but we got him in the end. All our fish this season have been caught on the stinger. So those secondary stingers actually aren't comp legal if you're in a comp. Um, but yeah, if we didn't have that, we probably wouldn't have got that fish. And what I thought was a stripey at the start definitely isn't a stripey. But yeah, it was worth the trek down last night from Wollongong. Nice little yellow fin, maybe 25 kilos. Not massive for where we are, but you know, when not many people catch them, we'll take anything. That's heaps of meat still for our friends and family. Shot this guy in the ice bag. It's a nice little yellow fin to take home. So we've got the rods back here, hope to get another one. Phew. That's the squidgy that did the damage, the lumo. Yeah. Same thing happened again, the actual stinger hooks that you add on yeah, is the oh reason they caught it. The yeah. main hook didn't actually hook it at all. I think that's the third fish this season on this boat that we've hooked just because the stingers, a lot of people don't run stingers. Uh, but yeah, I can't see why an extra couple of little hooks would benefit. Uh, but yeah, like I said before, they're not tournament legal. So if you are in a tournament, you can't run those type of stingers. But yeah, we'll glue him back on when we get home and run him next trip. But yeah, for this trip, he is out. We are bringing the rods in. We could keep trolling, but we both got to drive home. Uh, I've got to drive back to Wollongong. Rob's got to drive back to Canberra. And we've got one fish, not a massive fish, but plenty for us, plenty for our friends, plenty for our family. You just get so much meat off yellowfin, like we probably have 15 to 20 kilos worth of meat. And then we just half that. But yeah, I still got to process it, obviously. Rob's got to wash everything, and then we've got to still drive two and a half hours both. Anyway, Rob, nice job again. Thanks, man. We're getting better. We haven't done that for a while, so. Um, yeah, it's good to get out here, especially when not many people are catching fish to get one. Uh, you feel pretty lucky, but we took the risk last night, drove down here and yeah, paid off with a nice fish and episode for you guys. So if you like this episode, hit the thumbs up, comment and subscribe. And if you want any merch, www.offshoreadventures.com.au and I'll see you next time.